Hey everyone, Tragic MTG here. I have got a stack of these theme boosters from Ikoria uh, that I'm going to take a look through. And as always, when I do these, I wonder, are they worth it to buy them? And invariably, the answer is typically no. Uh, but we're going to get into these and take a look. Um, trying out a new angle. I'm in a different location. And at any minute, I might be interrupted by my kids wondering where I'm at, so we're gonna try to do this sort of quick. <laughs> oh yeah, okay, so it's been a while since I opened these weird giant boxes with, <laughs> you literally destroy the whole thing to get into the very bottom. Um, yeah, packaging probably looks really good on the, the store shelf at Walmart or Target or whatever. Oh, it's so big. Look how many cars I'm getting. And really just get this pack here. But here it is, this is the white one. And we got a Volpa Vol Keat on the top here with the alternate showcase comic book style art, which I do like that. And uh, it's not a bad thing. Let's see what we get here. Rule of the All Hunter. Fight is one, you got an uncommon and commons in this first spot. And typically, ah, oh, we've got a duplicate here. Volpa Keat, wait, a three? Three of these? Hey, um, I guess that's what we'll be uh, in a couple of Splendor Mares. I guess we'll be going that route when we bust open this pack and uh, try to play with it, right? Uh, I got some green white. Caprador. Swallow Hole. Garrison Cat. All the commons and uncommons you could possibly want out of Ikoria White. Yep. Duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. Very interesting. Let's see if we get anything good for a rare. Um, I feel like they should absolutely give you two rares out of these packs, but I think often you only get one. And <laughs> there's even a regular Volpa Keat, and the rare is a Mythos of Snapdax. So yeah, I would uh, currently not be thrilled with this pack, but there it is. Let's open up the black, see if we do any better. I'm really interested to see if I get more than one rare out of any of these. Um, let's see here. I'll just try to open it this way. Yank out the bottom stuff there. Cavern Whisperer. Mm, I wonder if we'll get multiple Cavern Whisperers. I don't recall when I bought these before for uh, Theros Beyond Death uh, that there were like blatant uh, duplicates like that. Shimmer, right, so you get a uh, some some artifacts in there to kind of fill this out. Since they're colorless, they can, oh, look at this. Multiple Cavern Whispers, interesting. Well, I mean, if they're going to give you multiples, it should be the one that's of the showcase style, I suppose. Maybe that makes sense. Gloomy little pangle in there. Coil Bug. Whisper Scraw, these guys. These guys, am I right? Let's see if we get a regular Cavern Whisperer at the end. Deadweight, Easy Prey, Lurking, Dead Eye, Mutual Destruction, Scorpion, Quish Meat Poacher, and the Rare. Wait, whoa, whoa. The Rare is a Nethroy, Apex of Death, so we actually got a Mythic here. There we go. He's got a Mutate for a bunch. Death Touch, Life Link. Whenever this creature mutates, return any number of target creature cards with total power 10 or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. So at least you can get some uh, Mythic action going on with that. So there we go. Let's cover Liliana up there. She's messing up the camera, I think. Anyway, here's the red booster. Um, you gonna get any uh, porky parrots in this one, maybe? Seems likely. Okay. Ah, Cloud Piercer. There you go. So we'll probably get three of those. Oh, yeah, don't steal these. Cloud Piercer number one. Oh, the Forbidden Friendship. It is so forbidden. Raptor. Oh, there's another Cloud Piercer. Porky Parrot, sure. Yep. Yep. Everything you need to make a little red basic deck there. Yeah. Okay. 
I kind of see it. It's maybe kind of going the way of uh, the jump start where you can kind of just get one of these and mush it into a deck real quick for being a beginner. Not a bad idea, I suppose, but definitely not much value. You're getting a Mythos of Vadrock there for the rare. There it is. And only two Cloud Piercers that time. I'm right there. Blue is up next. And they definitely don't want you like opening these up and pulling out the possible good card and then returning it to the store. So they feel like they've made it hard to reopen. Oh gosh, I have to like totally destroy it to get it open. But I'm clumsy, like a more nimble bad actor than me would probably just pop these open and return them, but I don't think there's really much reason to do that to be honest. Dreamtail Heron for this one. I guess we'll probably get a couple of those. There we go. There it is. Wait, there's a Dreamtail Heron and a Wingtail Heron. Wingfold Terran. Okay, so the Terrans are strong in this set. Now we did get a Legendary at the end. I already spoiled it. Neutralize, Subduel, yeah, Duplicate so that you can kind of make a deck out of it. I, I kind of like that. Oh, Kin and Bonder Prodigy. Well, that's actually pretty decent. There's no value in this. Well, there's a valuable card. And we actually got two. So there we go. A little bit of proof there. Two Mythics in this one blue pack right there. Well, I probably shouldn't be naysaying this whole thing then, right? So you got a Luna and a Kinnon. Um, Very cool. Luna is a mutate creature with flying cramp. Trample and it mutates the exile cards in the top of your library until you exile a non land permanent card and you can put it on the battlefield. That's nice. Kinnon for two. Whenever you tap a non land permanent for mana, add one mana of any type that permanent produced and you can pay a bunch to look at the top five cards of your library. You may put a non human creature card from among them onto the battlefield, the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. Oh, you could build around that, can't you? That's a pretty decent commander, I would think. So, all right. All right, not so bad, but uh, I think that might be somewhat of an outlier. Let's check out this green one. Can get it open here. Should just get a knife. Oh my gosh, packages are are hard to open. They're hard. What can I say? Uh, let's see. Wow. Okay. Well, maybe I need to stand corrected. That's three mythics out of out of three packs. Let's see if I can do any better. And then we got the the monster one. I'm sorry. Was that four packs? That was four packs, right? Yeah. 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 Um. Okay. So what do we got here? So there's no alternate creature for green on the top of this one. So that's kind of interesting. We're gonna get some. There's a brush wag. Migratory Great Horn. We're gonna get more of those. Make some, yep, yep. Multiples to make a deck out of. Just a few creatures. There's actually a lot more spells than creatures I thought there. And so the rare is a gem razor. Um which is probably a good starter creature, right? It's got reach and trample whenever this creature mutates. Destroy target artifact or enchantment and an opponent controls. There you go. There's my green. All right, so the last box is the monsters theme booster. So where these were somewhat heavy with spells, I assume this one will be heavy with monsters, creatures. I'm guessing beasts and nightmares and Cats and dinosaurs and sharks, maybe? Let's see what we get. <laughs> More Volta Keats. Alright, come on, package. Fail to get it open the easy way. Okay. There we go. Okay. Volta Keats. Easy Prey, that's not a monster. Trumpety Gnar, that's a monster. Shred Sails, so it's just all multicolor. Oh, you gotta, gotta get that mysterious egg, you gotta get a 
a useful artifact in there. A lurker. Spells. There's a Dreamtail Heron. Porky Parrot. There's a cat. There's a boar. There's a leech. A wolverine. Crab. So at least you got a bunch of creatures to mush together with your your other colors. Nightmare Snake. Fertilid. There's a Shark Beast. Pouncing Shore Shark. Sorry for the focus. I just noticed. Vulpakeet again. Flight. A monkey. Marmoset. Heron. A Cavern Whisperer. And an Obosh. The Prey Piercer for the rare. Legendary Creature. Hellion Horror. He's got Companion. So you gotta do some nonsense to get him into your deck. If a source you control with an awe converted mana cost would deal damage to a permanent or player, it deals double that damage to that permanent or player instead. So, all right, there you go. So, actually, it was extremely lucky on mine, I would say. Getting three mythics out of it, and two of them in one pack in particular. Um, typically, not the case, I think, with these. So, um, comment down below. Tell me what you think of these. I usually say they're not totally worth it but um at least in this case it seems like i don't know do you want duplicates to make a little deck out of or do you want singles singletons so that you can have a good variety of you know what the set's all about and get more cards so it's really a kind of a toss-up right there so anyway tragic mtg um catch you later